Now, the last thing I really want to talk about is um, what I noticed when I first got here that Danish Americans really love their flags. <laughs> we have Bruce Bro, he's the director of development, and he was on top of Mount Kilimanjaro with the flag. And then, of course, there's Main Street with the pairs of flags. And I thought that it was just Elkhorn. But when I went through the collection, I started seeing Danish flags popping up everywhere on all kinds of materials, pillow covers, doilies, table runners, tablecloths. And I was in the Civil Air Patrol color guard, and we do not do this kind of thing with the American flag. At least you're not supposed to embroider it on any kind of materials. You need to be careful about how you wear it. So I was discussing this with Julie, and she's going to come up and talk about how the Danish flag is used in Denmark today and how it's very different from how we use the American flag. So. Thank you. Um, as Brittany said, when um, the we use the flag everywhere. So when she asked me to talk about how we use the flag on which occasions, I thought it was a really weird question because we use it on the obvious occasions. Um, so I said that I, or I thought that I didn't have much to say, but then she pulled up some examples on how we use them, where you don't use them. Um, and discussing that a bit, I want to show you some of the for me, really obvious occasions where you have to use the Danish flag. Um, and the pictures are my private pictures. So <laughs> you will see some of my family members when they are partying and things. <laughs> For example, for birthdays. <laughs> um, it's my dad. Um, this February, when he, when he had birthday. Um, and then there's uh, the cake. Up here, um, it's a tradition in our family that my grandparents they always come with this kind of cake for birthdays, and you can see the small flags on it. Oops. And then there's my sister here making cake, birth an up birthday cake with the small flags on. It. So when we um, when we celebrate birthdays, we have the Danish flag in cakes and on the table, but you can't see that because he has a smile. <laughs> and then the anniversaries and graduations. Um, when my parents celebrated their 25th anniversary, they had a big cake, cancer cake. Um, and it was my mom's birthday too on the same day. She turned 50, so she, they had a little cake made for her. And. When somebody graduates, like my sister here, um, they, we usually give them a rose and a flag. And then there are flags everywhere. And, and this is taken in her apartment, where there were hanging flags um, all over the apartment. And at the school, there are flags. And you run all, around with flags, like she did. It. Apparently, it's some family thing, <laughs> fighting in the flag. <laughs> Um, and then for Christmas, when we decorate the Christmas tree, then we also use the Danish flag. And in my family, we have a tradition that when we decorate the Christmas tree, that the flags come on the tree in the end. All of the other things go on first and then the flags. And then the homecomings. Like when I came back from Germany, when I had lived there, um, my family was standing on this uh, train station with flags, and you will see that in the airport too, that they're having flags as when people have been traveling, and it wouldn't surprise me that when I get back from here and in the airport that friends and family, they will meet up with flags and stuff like that. And when the royalties, when they get, when they receive guests in the airport, they're flags too. And then there are all these things where we have flags on um, the napkins, and again in the cake, and on the tablecloth, 
and on the candlelight. And this is a tablecloth that my mom she uses whenever there's an anniversary or a birthday or a wedding even then. Then she put these tablecloths on. And there are small flags on the lines here. And there's the little flag <laughs> and the one in the background. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we use it in a lot of places and I hadn't thought about it until Brittany asked me why we, we do that. And the example she came up with that I haven't even thought about is that we also, that we use the flag as a marker um, in the calendar for when somebody has birthday. Um, and I thought that was pretty obvious to put a flag <laughs> when it's somebody's birthday. And then I looked at our calendar and I thought, oh yeah, you. You don't have any flags on the calendar either, so it's a Danish thing. <laughs> oh yeah, and Memorial Day, um, there aren't any flags there. We we don't have Memorial Day. <laughs> um, obviously, we had Memorial Day, and there were flags. <laughs> all over Elkhorn <laughs> Cemetery. And you thought that was unusual because yeah. you don't typically do that, right? Yeah, I, I don't know the official explanation for not having uh, flags on the graveyards of soldiers uh, who have died, but just at the top of my head, I think that people would think it was too patriotic. It was too, it's in, it's a big issue and debate right now in Denmark, being a war nation and all that. And yeah, it would, I think it would be too patriotic. But on the same hand, it sounds weird thinking about it now because we have it on the tablecloth, we wear candlelights, and we're not afraid of standing on a train station and we do the flex. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's a part of that whole war nation issue that is very, yeah, it's very interesting. Well, thanks, Julie. <laughs> I, uh, I really appreciated that insight. Um, it's very nice to live with somebody from another culture and we have all these little culture bumps <laughs> against each other. So.